So we're gonna turn this into this. Okay, so let me go through the story here. So, um, well, you can sort of see over here that this is all ripped out. And the reason that is, I was moving some milk crates. We ha I had a bunch of milk crates full of bottles that I'm going to cut into drinking glasses. And just to store milk crates when I go bottle digging, I can uh, fill the crate up. And I was moving them, and I saw a bunch of mold on the bottom paneling, like that over there. Hopefully that's not moldy, though. <laughs> but... I saw a bunch of mold down there and little teeny disgusting bugs. So I decided to rip off the paneling down there and I decided, well, I do need more shelf space, so let's just do what I did over here. Which I never did post that video. But I'm gonna do something like this only instead of the very top shelf. So this is the fun part, actually doing the demolition, but <laughs> putting it back together is it's fun to get rid of all this drywall and crap all right let's rip this junk off I don't think I'm even gonna need these still we'll just rip it off of course this is gonna be into a stud well we'll do the next one I guess I saved the bottom That actually worked pretty well. <laughs> Cut it right there, we could still use it. This might go a little smoother. Avoid all these nails. I know you probably can't see me anymore, but oh well. rid of these. Don't need those anymore. Um, and now I should be able to get this thing out. No, I can't get it out. I'm going to have to cut this in two pieces, which is fine, but didn't want to. I must have take this top thing off. Nah, let's not do that yet. I'm just going to cut it in two pieces. Now I have a bunch of drywall that I can use somewhere else. Look at that, I can do what I did with the other one, it looks like. Well, isn't that just perfect? <laughs> that worked actually really good. Alright, so that should be good. I'm just gonna try to, uh, kick the thing. I am, like, 99% sure it's not gonna work. But if it does, that is awesome. Oh, shoot, I think I actually moved it. Oh, yes! I actually got it! Just a little bit, but still. I am moving this entire thing. I'm gonna peel the paneling off. Oh, oh good. That's just a... And by the way, it is shag carpet on here, as you can see.
got to get a saw and cut this sheet of plywood out of here. Well, I got it cut and I pulled it out, but I'm just going to use this oscillating tool and hopefully get to the end that way. <laughs> I think we're ready to take it out. That's so bright and open and airy. That makes a big difference. So now you can see what I mean about the studs. So these are going to get moved. Which is okay. Okay, this is not happening, unless I take every single bottle down, which is definitely not happening either. But there's like 700 bottles. So, we're going to try to take this countertop off. Which... Oh, yes, it does weigh a lot. Not too bad though. Not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Wow. Moving the ceiling. Two. Right, so I've started um, putting two by fours on here. So I screwed the first one on, and um, so that worked. I did a screw here in the middle, and on the bottom, I toenailed it. Well, I guess that screw is a little bent. Alright, so let's discuss my plans here. So I'm going to be putting a um, board, um, once these get in on this side, I'm going to be putting a board across here, just like a step, like this, only flush with the plywood. Probably going to have to do a little trimming because it's not going to be perfect on that side because I used the oscillating tool instead of the circular saw. But then I'm going to make a little platform that we will make the bottom shelf rest on. And I'm also going to put a 2x4 here that the bottom shelf will rest on. And I don't know what we're doing about the top. I do know what we're doing at the top. I'm going to put another 2x4 on here and on this side to be able to put a top piece on. That's my plans. And I'm sticking to it for now. <laughs> so I think we're ready to actually put this top piece back on. This needs to come up, but it should come up once we get the braces in. That is actually perfect. First try. Perfect. You can see I'm using the note glasses for <laughs> stuff. <laughs> go over that way just a bit. Alright, I got all these in. Now I will need to put the backers on and we should be good after that. I just got done at the river, had an awesome time. I found two crocks, a jug and a crock. What else did I find? Another G German mineral water? What else? Just a bunch of bottles. So 
I just got these all done. Now I'm, we're going to go to Home Depot and see what they have for wood. All right. Good. Good. Not good. Now I'm going to put a screw in here, hold it on this side, and then we can do it on the other side. So I got them all on, and I got the stud backer things on to support it. All right, where's the level? No. We got this all done, as you can see. Um, so I will cut the bottom piece and then cut a whole crap ton of furring strip thingies to go on these studs to make them not look like studs. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hitting the ceiling. So I cut the board. Let's get a tape measure and let's measure how long this actually is. 92 and a half about. So just cut a strip with the table saw to match the 2x4 dimension. That's pretty good. So I'll cut three more of these. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting little strips here um, so we can put this, the top board on. It'll go up under here. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I got this little strip on here. Um, you can sort of see what I mean now by the strips. So we got a strip on the front, on the side. And then I'll have one on the back and on the other side. So I just cut a bunch of a bunch more strips and we're gonna nail them on. Let's make sure we're still lined up. Yeah, good. So I just got all of these finished here. And um, I didn't do the back yet because I still have to put the boards on for the shelf. And I don't want to do that after the paneling is on because it's going to make it smaller. So I'm going to do it before and do it just like I did with this. Um, put the skins on and then right now I'm going to work on the very end cap piece over here. See if the shelf fits. It might, it might not. Although it might not even fit that. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing in here. Uh, I guess I can. Good. All right. Nice. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and I put the top uh, bar top back on, and the camera died, so you weren't able to see that, but I got it all done. Now I have to do this set. I have to put the doors back on, and 
um, put the trim and paneling back on here. But that's not going to be today or anytime soon. So we got this all done. I'm happy with it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, so I'll give you a long shot of it. There you go. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out very good. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.